wetlands and swamps. Wetlands like this one here at Sweetwater Branch Park in Gainesville, Florida are home to plenty of tree and plant species that live in a unique environment. Most wetlands are characteristic of having some standing water above ground or an area where water remains above ground for extended periods of time. The soil in these ecosystems are always very wet. There are four main types of wetlands in Florida, including lakeside wetlands, streamside wetlands, basin wetlands, and seepage wetlands. These can represent borders from upland ecosystems to open water bodies such as lakes and streams. The understory usually consists of standing water and can have mosses and small shrubs growing. These include things like ball moss, Spanish moss, poison ivy, swamp rose, pitcher plants, and pickerel weed. Midstory includes some smaller trees such as loblolly bay and black gum. The overstory contains trees such as bald and pond cypress most notably. It also includes red maple, sweet bay magnolia, ash, willow, and sweet gum. Wetlands are highly important to the land around them. Here in Florida, they collect and return water to the Floridian aquifer. They also purify and control rates of water flow, reducing floods in other ecosystems. Wetlands are so important that developing or draining them comes with hefty fines and permits. And it is because wetlands are so important that they have specific rules to determine and delineate a wetland. Surveyors look for a combination of wetland soils, wetland plants, and periods of saturation that would normally drown non-wetland plants in order to be able to delineate a wetland. Humans protect wetlands from draining and development because of how important they are to other ecosystems.